you want me to paint this uh, shelf too? No. The frame? Yeah, the frame, but yeah. not the... No. The... You could probably lift it out, make it easier to paint. I don't think so. Okay. Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. After a three hour journey along the M4 from Bath, finally Ocean Fox arrived at the boatyard in Windsor. The first time we're gonna go on the boat. Yep, this is it. It's uh, day one of uh, boat building. <laughs> but all we we're are boat do, builders now. All we're gonna do today is just uh, sort of have a little measure up, and uh, we need set steps to get on and off properly because it's, it's a bit dangerous if we go on ladder and carrying stuff up and down. So we need to get a sort of industrial set of steps, and uh, we just want to work out the kind of layout of where we're going to put bedrooms and stuff like that, galley, yeah. so that we can just bit, sort of think of about planning, it. Isn't yeah, it? Bit of planning, isn't it? A planning and uh, start uh, ordering stuff. Yep, that's right. Yeah. That's our goal. The boat is split into three areas, the forward structure, the pilot house and the aft cabin. The pilot house was originally to be collapsible so she could pass under low bridges, but we have decided it would be too heavy to lower without some form of hydraulics. With the roof up, the air draft will still only be 10 feet. That gets us to Oxford on the River Thames. We are going to add some steps to the rear cabin, a handrail and a binami, so we have an outside seating area. We will add a set of davits to the rear for a high filled rib so we can motor to town without moving the boat. Seth and Rob's original plan was only to have one bedroom in the rear of the boat, a head to the starboard side as you enter the main saloon. We decided it would be better for us to have a heads and shower in the rear cabin, have a master cabin and shower room in the front of the boat and then make the rest of the forward structure into the saloon and galley. That's me again pausing the video to give you time to subscribe to our channel. 70% of you guys are watching the videos without subscribing. Please help us to produce these free videos for you. Have you done it? Lovely. Let's continue the show. Thank you everyone. Um, as the guys who, uh, Rob and Steph, who had the boat, uh, built it, they were just going to have one cabin in the back and then uh, a heads in this main saloon area and then the rest of it was just going to be saloon, so it's just going to be open. Uh, so galley in here, saloon, and one heads. But um, we decided that uh, we wanted to make it into a two cabin boat. Yes, absolutely. So in the back cabin, uh, we're going to put in uh, one four foot wide uh, bed, which will be to the side, to the port side of the boat. And on the starboard side, we're going to put in a uh, head, so that'll be a shower, toilet, and wash basin. It's all going to be quite compact in there, to be fair, but if you compared it with a a 45 foot monohull or something it'd be quite roomy yeah yeah, yeah. so that's uh, so that's going to be one bedroom back there mm -hmm. with an ensuite and uh, this big uh, place is going to have a lovely owner's cabin at the front 
So it's going to have a completely walk around bed. Very spacious, actually. Yeah, it will be very spacious. It's going to have cupboards built in. It's going to have in, uh, another shower, another set of heads, shower room, and uh, wash basin and toilet. So that's all going to go in. That's going to come up to uh, just here. So uh, just in between these two windows here is going to be the, uh, the shower room coming out of this here. Shower in the middle of the boat where it's tallest. And uh, you'll walk through a doorway here into this uh, cabin and you'll have a walk around bed there and uh, there'll be a doorway here down a little passage to get into the main saloon. One of the issues we have that, that they didn't have is that uh, because we've got these four round windows, we don't have any ventilation. So we're going to have to put in at least one hatch. And what we think we're going to do is put a hatch in the roof above the bed, uh, which will open and give you lots of uh, ventilation. So that's going to be this room. And then so from here, uh, going on back, is going to be the saloon and the kitchen. So kitchen, kitchen's going to go down here. And it's going to go around this side here. So there'll be things like uh, possibly dishwasher, oven in there, say. And then the kitchen service will come around here with cupboards, uh, maybe fridge, freezer, up to around about here by this window. And at this point, we'll have a breakfast bar coming out. So that leaves us this area here, which is going to be the main saloon. But we wanted to keep it quite open because originally we thought about having the kitchen back in this area and having a kind of uh, piece coming out here of the kitchen units with a breakfast bar on that side. But we kind of felt that that sort of enclosed it. Made yeah, it into, I was feeling a bit claustrophobic. Yeah, kind of made it into different rooms. Yeah. So by doing this and keeping this open here, we're going to kind of open it up and make this all one space. Yeah. Over here, we're going to have two white booths, uh, which should probably be fridge and freezer. And then there's going to be cupboards all the way down this uh, uh, side, not 600 mil deep, only around 400 mil deep. Good. Time to start work on the engine room. Give it a clean, sand it down, and paint the rust, and give it a coat of paint. So I've just about got the uh, engine room sanded out. There's some of the metalwork in there didn't actually have any primer on it or anything, so uh, that was probably the worst part. So the next job is to uh, give it a bit of a clean, and I'm going to just use a damp sponge for that, and then let it dry, and then I'm going to put some red oxide primer on all the bits that aren't good, and follow up with some uh, other puck of bilge paint um, over the next couple of days, give it two coats. And, uh, then this room will be ready uh, basically for the generator going first and then the engine. So I'm going to have the grills painted um, that go on the floor. I think I'm going to have them painted in black. Uh, it's a bit unusual, but um, I think gloss back black and then uh, white underneath. And then the yellow of the Vitas engine will look, will look rather, rather good actually. Sort of when you open it up, it'll all look rather sexy, I think. So. Uh, yeah, that's the plan, and uh, we'll see how we get on. While I have been working on the engine room, at the other end of the boat, Carla has been sanding and painting the bow locker. Do you want me to paint this uh, shelf too? No. The frame? Yeah, the frame, but yeah. not the... No. You could probably lift it out, make it easier to paint. I don't think so. Okay. So what are you doing today, Carla? So I'm going to have to paint all these, so I'm going to have to find a way to, a strategy to do the job because this is the only place I can sit and be comfortable, but obviously I can't reach everywhere. So I'm going to start with the walls, the top walls everywhere, and go down. I think I'm going down on this side here, and then I'll do this side here. And then I'll leave this bit that I'm sitting down to the last. And then I'll go up and with a stick, I'll do it at the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. Does it work? Yeah. It's 
so I have done all the, um, the power locker here. Uh, it was quite difficult. I'm painting everywhere, which I don't like it. But um, it was difficult to move around and uh, find a place that I haven't painted yet. So yeah, but I think I've done most of the work. I'm gonna have to go uh, back in when it's dried to retouch in some places. Work, well, and you have plenty of space here. Yeah. Can you imagine me in that little no. hole there? Alright. Take your gloves up there, look. <laughs> yeah. We're going to run out of paint. I still have a little bit yeah. here. Well, I'll have you all Which bit. you can use. But I'm not going to have enough. So here's the engine room, first coat of paint, another one to go. And uh, it's looking rather nice, we're quite pleased with that. Got rid of a lot of the rust which had built up over the last 10 years. I think it had some water in the bottom and uh, been left for some time. So uh, yeah, another coat on Monday. It is time to move the boat again. The yard has made room for us on the other side, away from the dusty storage area. Just to make sure the side decks will drain, I tip a bucket of water down. Ooh. See where it's coming out there. Yeah, it's coming down. Oh, I think you're okay. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Brilliant. One last job today is to remove the engine and the generator from the van and put them in the shed. <laughs> 